Alright, so I'm working on a Yu-Gi-Oh card game and it's going to be for like the 3DS browser. This is, this is all the codes, uh, codes I have right now, but um, I think this is pretty impressive for what I'm doing with it. Like, you don't really have to understand what's going on, but if you just see all this code right here, I think it does a lot for um, what it does. Just all this right here. That, all that CSS junk. But anyways, <clears throat> so let me refresh the page. Um, I can't click anything on the opponent side, but that shouldn't be too hard anyways. But um, the only thing I can click on right now it pretty much is the deck because you know that's, you just started a new game. The deck's the only cards you have here. So anyways, I can click like a uh, number two card. I can click it and move it anywhere. And as you can see, I'm viewing the deck. So it's not going to say move to the deck, you know. There's the extra deck I can move it to. Or I can move card number one to my hand and uh, exit that menu. Then I could go, I could click here to view my hand and it'll be card number one. As you see, I'll just uh, move, remove it from play. Go to my extra deck, card number two is there. Remove that from play. Um, maybe put them in my pendolium blue red junk I don't know how that works but yeah um, put it back to my move to field I didn't pro program that yet actually um, but anyways move it back to the deck so yeah <clears throat> as you can see though it's pretty much um, really well made it's um you know for the codes it has it organized everything you know perfectly so if um well, I don't know how to explain it. Just, you know, I, I just have what you see here. It's pretty much, you know, a card game, any kind of card game, really. You just have multiple decks, and that's it. Uh, I just didn't make a Monster Card Zone yet because I was going to program it a certain way because, like, there's five Monster Card Zones. So I thought about putting, it like, you know, an air rate kind of junk going on, but I might just call it Monster Zone number one, Monster Zone number two, but... Who knows? <clears throat> but really though, if I wanted, I could literally have all of these uh, Monster Zone and Spell and Trap card zones um, fixed. All I have to do is do something like this. Call it Monster Zone number one. Give it the X and Y coordinates where it is on the screen. Um, I'll just do zero <clears throat> just to show you that I'm you know, being honest. Actually, I also have to put monster zone number one right here. Whoa, what the freak. And that's it. Literally, I have another zone here. Of course, you can't see it. The background is just a little, you know, picture. But I'll, I'll click my deck, for example. Click number three. Move to monster zone number one. And the X and Y are zero, so it should be over here. And that's it right here. I could remove that from play. Click here. It's removed from play. So yeah, this is a pretty well made. I absolutely love the way this is programmed. I mean, it does a lot. And all it is is this right here. Like a um, hundred lines of code and, it, and the HTML is just that. The rest is just CSS. So to me, to me, this is very impressive in my opinion. And I absolutely love the way how this is just so short and everything makes sense. Of course, you know, I am getting ready to, um, you know, make it a little bit more complex. So, like, you know, it says new pile right here, for example. But really, it just returns an empty array. But I just have it as new pile in case if I do something is more complex. Because really, though, I mean, I'm in full control of where the cards go. You know, there's nothing automatic. But to be make it automatic, you know, it's going to take a little bit more work into this. But, you know, still, you know... It's something that will work on your 3DS browser and everything pretty much instantly, fast and all that crap. And being multiplayer, you know, that's not a problem at all. No kidding. Literally, what the server or what would happen is that uh, you just pretty much update the opponent's deck, and that's kind of it. I mean, there's more that would happen. You know, more graphics here, like you can see monster spell traps, whatever. But still, you know, long story short, um, this is very well made and all that crap so anyways i'll call it any card game maker for now but i'm probably gonna call it Yu -Gi -Oh for later but yeah if you like this though um give it a thumbs up and share it and all that crap and you know look forward to this i am so i'll see y'all later